Hello everyone, we are here today at Disney's Boulder Ridge Villas to do a full room tour of a one bedroom villa. This room does sleep up to four adults and has a good amount of space for everyone. Now like all the other rooms here at Boulder Ridge, this room was recently refurbished top to bottom, all new furniture, new floors, paint on the walls, new decorations. It looks amazing and we can't wait to show you. Let's go check it out. So when we first come into the room here, right across from the door, we have a mirror and a coat rack. And then we have our closet, really good sized closet here. Lots of hanging space. You've got a laundry basket up there. And then you have just some space down below for your luggage, but nice to kind of put things out of the way when you first come into the room here. And then heading into the rest of the room, we've got some decorations here on the wall with the theming here in Boulder Ridge being kind of revamped as they redid the rooms. We're a big fan of one thing in particular, and that's the addition of these posters advertising different areas around Boulder Ridge and Copper Creek. They've created this kind of lore around Wilderness Lodge, which is a lot of fun. You can see our dining room table here has a bench and a couple chairs, and the table does move. You can slide that around in the room if you need to. And then our kitchen is over here to the right of the dining room. We've got a pretty good sized countertop in here, the sink and a dishwasher. Of course, it is a full kitchen. We've got coffee maker in here. It's a single Keurig coffee maker as well as a pot. So a really nice upgrade there. And then we have inside the cabinets, all the things we could need like dishes. We have silverware, we have pots and pans. We've got a toaster and a microwave, a stove and an oven. And then we have a fridge and freezer, a little bit smaller of a fridge and freezer, but still pretty good amount of space inside there. Now, if we go into the living room area, you can see it's quite a bit different in here because they've added a Murphy bed. We've got some decorations on each side of the Murphy bed. We also have some outlets built in now. We have wall outlets and USBs over here, and then some pottery they've created that has little Mickey heads cut out of it. Really nice touch there. Some artwork on the Murphy bed where you've got Mickey and Pluto out for a hike. You see Goofy fishing in the background, no doubt doing the perfect cast. And then the Murphy bed folds right down on top of this couch. You don't have to pull the cushions off or anything. It just folds right down on top of that. Really love the pattern on these pillows and the little Mickey heads they put on the side with the diamonds there. Really nice job with those. In the center of the room, we do also have a coffee table that doubles as storage. So this is a storage trunk that you can lift the lid. And when you do, it elevates up to kind of make a little table for those sitting there at the couch. Now on the other side of the room from that bed, we have our TV and we have a huge TV on the wall here. Absolutely massive. And then we have a couple drawers down below for storage. Not a ton of room here in these drawers. They're pretty shallow, but you've got a little bit of storage for those who are staying here in the living room. That connecting door is to the studio next door if you have a two bedroom lock off. And then of course we have access to our patio or balcony. The curtains here have Pluto and Mickey, and maybe a few other characters on there as well, silhouetted there. And we'll head out and check out the patio real quick. You can see we've got the sliding glass doors. Of course, we're on the first floor, so we have a patio, but if you're on a higher floor, you would have a balcony. We've got a couple chairs and a little table here. Of course, the pool right over there. And we'll go check out the patio from the bedroom as well, but they're pretty much the exact same size and setup. Now let's head back and check out the other half of the room here. Right before we get to the bathroom, this is our laundry room. And you can see these bifold doors here. We've got a couple little cutouts of leaves on them. These doors are actually the same doors they had before the remodel. So it's interesting they decided to keep those, but I mean, what else are you gonna do with a door besides just put another solid door there? You've got a washer and dryer stackable unit in here. They've got some laundry soap for you. And of course, all of the one bedroom and larger units in the DVC villas have those laundry units in them. We've got our bathroom here, which is set up to be shared with the main bathroom over on the right, but there is only one toilet here in the room. So we've got a single vanity here, a little bit of storage down below, the mirror up above it, and then the toilet over in the corner. There are a couple deer in that picture there, and I thought maybe Bambi, and uh, I, I don't think it is though. I think it's just some wildlife there. And then we have our walk-in shower here, which is a really good size walk-in shower. You can see we've got the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash on the wall there. 
the dual shower heads with the detachable head and the rainfall style head. And again, a pretty good size walk-in shower. Now there's a second door here in this bathroom that I mentioned leading over into the main bedroom and bathroom here. That door of course can be closed off and locked. And as we come into here, we can see our tub. We have a huge, very deep soaking tub in here. Notably, there are no jets in it, but it is a really, really big tub. And then the mural on the wall here with Mickey and Minnie canoeing down the river with a waterfall behind them. Very, very pretty. And then our vanity in here is a very large single vanity. Lots and lots of counter space here. You've got a couple drawers and some cubbies for storage. Your hair dryer is in one of those drawers. And then you have some lights on each side of the mirror and a small lighted makeup mirror over there on the wall. And we have a walk-in closet in the bathroom here as well. You can see it's one of those sliding doors. Our safe is built into the wall. We have a luggage rack. We have an iron and an ironing board. Some clothes hangers there on the shelf as well as an extra pillow and blanket. Now we'll head into the main bedroom and show you that. We do have that door right here next to the bathroom door. So you can of course close off the bedroom here. We've got a little bench with some storage down below. You can sit right below the main full length mirror here in the room. Across from the bed, we have a huge dresser, really good size. We got a couple USB and wall outlets up on top of it. And then lots of drawers. We've got two large ones down on the bottom. Very, very spacious. And then two smaller ones here on each side on the top. So lots of storage space here in the bedroom. And again, a very large flat screen TV up there on the wall. The bed in this room is a king size beds and they do have that raised up off the ground. Once again, for storage underneath as many of the other rooms have. We've added some lighting in this room as well. We've got the overhead light and I really like the accent wall, the wallpaper back there behind the headboard is really nice. There's a dresser on this side of the bed that has two drawers. Once again, those are also pretty good sized drawers. They've added a couple lamps here and some outlets, but notably these do not have USBs in them. They're just regular wall outlets. On the other side of the bed, we have the exact same thing, a lamp with the outlets, except this one has a cabinet instead of drawers, just an open cabinet for storage there. And then built into the headboard of the bed, we do have those little reading lights you can see pulled out right there. You just push them in and pull them out as needed. One other thing to note is the pillow in here, the little throw pillow has a really fun print on there with the silhouette of Chippendale running away with all those acorns. In the corner of the room, we have a small chair and a little table. We've got a single lamp that has a reading light on it as well as the lamp itself. You can see the little reading light hanging down there. And then we have our access to the patio that I mentioned. The curtains in here are really nice. They've got a fun map. If you pull it all the way out, you can see Geyser Point right there. There's all kinds of references to things around Wilderness Lodge and other Disney lore in here worth closing those curtains and taking a look, but we're not going to take the time to do it right now. We're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like out here on the patio. We've got the same as the living room area, two chairs, a small table, and a little patio. And again, if you were on a higher floor, obviously that would be a balcony, but about the same size footprint for all the rooms here. Now we'll head back over into the living room and see what the Murphy bed looks like pulled down because Alyssa's taking care of that for us. You can see when we come into the living room, that queen size Murphy bed takes up some floor space, but really not a lot of floor space taken up. The couch just folds down on top of itself. Those cushions are right down there. I'm a big fan of the Murphy beds for how little space they take and how easy they are to put up and take down. Plus the mattresses on these are much nicer than the mattresses on those pull out couches. Up above the bed, we have a really pretty piece of artwork with Pluto and Mickey sleeping under the Looks like the moon coming up there on the horizon. And there's a small single little light inside of there as well. If we flip the switch over on the side, gives you just a little bit of light on the Murphy bed there. And that's gonna conclude our tour of this newly remodeled one bedroom villa here at Boulder Ridge Villas. We hope you enjoyed that room tour. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And check out the channel for tons of other room tours around Walt Disney World, Disney Cruise Line, and other Disney destinations around the world. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, we're here with the ears.